Hey guys, Dustin here from Wayward Wags. If you've been watching the channel, you know it's all about full-time RV life prep and getting ready to hit the road. It's going to be several months from now, but we're getting ready now. So we brought some tools out today, tools that we think that we're going to need while we're out on the road. So we're curious to see what you guys think and what kind of tools you guys bring with you when you're out on the road full-time. had a bunch of tools at home and uh, duplicates of a lot of things and so what I did today was we came out to the fifth wheel did a walkthrough and checked every nut bolt screw anything that we could think of and then we went and cross-referenced what tools we had at home to see if we had a tool that would fit anything that could be needing to be replaced or tightened or loosened removed reinstalled at any point ever so we did that first and then the things that we didn't have or things we think that we need we went out and got some more stuff uh, what we got here is just a basic little socket set that's going to fit all your little sockets and things like that this is just basic the basic tools that you need um, we already had all this stuff at home and this is all your basic screwdrivers pliers you know vice grips um, all your basic stuff that you'll need uh, got some Allen wrenches in there, things like that. Um, needle nose and regular pliers, and some wire cutters and things like that in there. And if you take this off, you got you know more sockets. There's like a breaker bar in there. You know your hammer. Um, have a little screwdriver set here uh, with some some ratchets and stuff like that. Different things. So uh, staple gun, some staples. Um, but that's that's basically what we got nuts and screws and bolts and nails and things like that so if we ever need that uh, it's there as you can tell probably I'm not much of a tool guy I have some tools but you can see that they're either not used or very gently used because I don't do tools I have a feeling on the RV that's all gonna change some of the other things that we got today while we were out looking at tools or some tire covers. If you're parked in a spot where they're taking direct sunlight, that could dry rot your tires faster. So we want to maintain uh, as much life on our tires as possible. So we picked these guys up today, and so they just they just slip right on, and it really took like only a few seconds to put those on. Here's the other side, the tire covers that we have over here. These things, they fold up really small into a little box. So once you take them off the tires, you, you fold them up. They don't take up a whole ton of space and I think in the long run it's going to save us some money on having to buy tires sooner um, than we would normally have to. So good investment. They were only like $21 for a set of two at Walmart. So you had to buy two sets. So altogether, I mean, you know, after taxes and stuff, you know, somewhere between 40 and 50 bucks, but I think it's well worth it. The other thing we did today was we brought out the, um, the generator. And we brought out another propane tank. The reason why we brought out another propane tank was because we have this little dude. Which is a portable fire pit. So instead of extending the gas line from our 30 pound tanks on the RV, um, we're just going to bring another propane tank with us. And that way when we want to move out away from the RV and have a little fire, we can bring that propane tank out. Or if we want to run our generator off of propane, we can bring that out and run that off of the separate tank as opposed to you know potentially not having enough line or having to have the generator really close to the to the fifth wheel our um our generator runs off of gas or propane this is dual fuel and it does fit really well in this compartment and there's the propane um that cable you see is just a, a cable lock that's just in case anybody does get in this compartment um and that's wrapped around the frame there in case anybody does get in this compartment um we have the generator and the propane tank locked up and that also will help the propane tank from uh, from falling over in transit. Really the only concern that I have down here is you can see that there's a little bit of a lip down here. And that's about a, maybe 8 inches, 9 inches deep. And this generator weighs 100 pounds. We're going to have to lift this up about 8, 9 inches and then bring it out. And once you bring it out onto the ground, it has wheels. So once we bring it onto the ground, we can roll it to anywhere we need it to go. 
so that's pretty easy um, we were considering just leaving this in the back of the truck but I don't know I feel like it's safer in the fifth wheel and uh, we're probably not going to use it too often because we're going to be staying at campgrounds and things like that more often than not I don't think we're going to be doing a ton of boondocking and things like that so I'm not really super concerned with uh, with having to lift this out so much because I just don't I don't think we're going to have to do it very often whereas leaving it in the truck even though we have the tunnel cover and the tailgate locks um, it just adds more weight to the truck too and uh, when we're just driving around town there's really not a need to have an extra 100 pounds in the bed of your truck all the time so i think we're just going to leave it here and if this doesn't work then you know we'll come up with something different leslie picked up these chair covers on amazon and we just got them in the mail luckily when we were between going from the rv back to feed scout and then back out here so we brought these out with us this is one with the cover and one without the cover so that you can see the difference. How much did these cost? They, they were a set and they were $12.99. For the set? For the set. They, they had a set of two, you could get four, six, you could get a bunch of different colors too? Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. And then when you mess up on them, you just rip them off and throw them in the wash. And you can tell with our decor, the little pops of red that we have in little places. I think it looks good.